Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another Gala Games price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Gala Games chart which at the time of this recording has continued to hold below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also seen a breakout out of this channel that we had been trading within to the lower side in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.03321 dollar mark. We have also continued to obey the ADUT of structures where I still believe that whatever we are seeing is a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and we have been able to get into a minimum retracement area in the formation of this wave 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.78 and there are chances that soon we might start gearing up in the formation of a larger ADU 12 count 3 which we expect after seeing the formation of a larger ADU 12 count 2 and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets here on the Gala Games chart first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our lower low down there we started this massive bounce to the upper side of being the adiotive structures where i have this adiotive structure in blue having the wave 5 giving us a picket around the 0.06278 dollar mark and after seeing the high for that wave 5 we completed an even larger adiotive count one to the upper side and after seeing the formation of a larger adiotive count one what Whatever we expected next was a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of a larger ADU wave count 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1. I was able to come up with a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the 0.03933 dollar mark and the 0.02576 dollar mark which is a target area at the moment we have not yet fully maximized but we have fully maximized the target area between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 meaning that there are chances that we might have seen the low for this second wave to the lower side and and there are chances that very soon we might start gearing up in what could be the start of this larger ADU 12 count 3 which we expect after seeing the formation of a larger ADU 12 count 2 and at the time of this recording you can see that we are seeing a bit of uh, some green candlesticks here on the 4 hour chart which is an indication that the buyers are trying to push the market even higher and if we also take a look at the volume indicator you can see that we have an increase in the buying volume here on the volume indicator suggesting that the buyers are trying to get back into the market and continue push the price even higher and in case we continue gearing up then the next key area of resistance that i'll be watching is the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart because for us to continue uh, seeing higher prices we need to see a break above the 20 day ma and the moment we manage to break above it have the support that we need then we might be able to get to our next key area of resistance at around the 0.04355 dollar mark and in case we manage to break above that key area of resistance and also manage to break above other highs that we have here on the charts then that will be enough confirmation that whatever we are seeing is an impulsive wave to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 assuming that gala games is not going to make one more leg down in the formation of these higher adu 12 count 2 by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.10938 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect gala games to do on the uh, in the formation of that higher adu 12 count 3 assuming that we are not going to see one more leg down in the formation of these higher ADU 12 count 2 and the other possible scenario that you can also expect here on the gala games chart is that whatever we are seeing at the moment could just be a short term run up to the upper side and there are chances that we might get to the 20 day ma over here on the four hour chart and get rejected at the 20 day ma since it's acting as resistance and in case such a move plays out then i'll be expecting another massive pullback to the lower side to fully maximize our target area between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.78 and once we fully maximize maximize our target area by maybe taking us to the area at around the 0.02574 dollar mark then from there we can start expecting our reversal to the upper side in the formation of that higher ADU 12 count 3 also jumping to the one hour chart for further analysis and also give you a chart pattern that is in formation right here 
that could have possibly given us a breakout to the lower side here on the four hour chart i have a chart pattern which is a head and shoulders pattern and if i zoom in so that i can draw it out we can have these as the left shoulder of that head and shoulders pattern like that then we have seen the formation of the head then the neckline then the right shoulder and there are chances that whatever we had been seeing over here in this move that gave us a light around the 0.03292 mark could be a breakout out of this head and shoulders pattern and this is a chart pattern that breaks to the lower side having the minimum target area of the breakout being given by the height between the tops that is the head and the neckline and we can get that height between the head and the neckline like that and then place it below the neckline so that you can get a minimum target area to the lower side and that gives me a minimum target area back to the area at around the 0.03133 dollar mark and there are chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment could be just a short-term bullish movement before we can continue seeing the breakout out of this head and shoulders pattern to, to fully maximize our target area and in case we fully maximize this target area at around the 0.3131 dollar mark then that will be also helping gala games to fully maximize this blue target area in the formation of these larger a 12 count too and that is what i'm expecting here on the short-term scenarios and and also taking a look at the indicators before i can give you the long-term scenarios that i'm expecting to play out you can see that on the rsi we are trading at around the 40 mark meaning that in case we continue gearing up that movement on the rsi will still be supported but in case we continue seeing the breakdown that movement here on the rsi will still be supported also taking a look at the market we have been able to print a bearish crossover here suggesting lower prices but we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the selling momentum here on the MACD suggesting that we might start gearing up in the formation of that larger a 12 count 3 and jumping to the daily chart for further analysis and also give you the long-term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out you can see that Gala games from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw that massive bounce to the upper side seeing the all-time high at around the 0.85 dollar mark in what I'm terming is that first wave to the upper side then we started a corrective structure in the bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this ABC corrective structure in a move that gave us the low for that higher ad 12 count too and after seeing the low for this second wave whatever we expect on the long-term scenarios is the start of a massive bounce to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 where i have minimum target areas at the fib of 1.618 and that is at around the 1.36 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting gala games to do here on the long-term scenarios and also on the short-term scenarios and let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.